good morning you guys, it's Trev Smashworks. Welcome back. Um, today, it's another awesome day, beautiful sunny day in California, about 100 degrees. Um, today we're gonna be talking about the feet. I, uh, I'm doing a wad today that has a lot of running in it with some intervals and some deadlifts and things like that. And I started thinking, you know what, best way to warm up the foot, smash out the bottom of the foot. Except here's the problem. A lot of guys, I'm gonna put this phone down. A lot of, uh, a lot of people, we spend our days on our feet, cramped in dress shoes, cramped in high heels, um, cramped in shoes in general, not letting those toes move out the way they're supposed to. Because technically your toes aren't supposed to touch together. I mean, it's just like if your fingers would touch together. Um, it wouldn't make any sense and it would look kind of goofy. So the way it works is what happens is we cram our feet into these shoes, the toes start to get really close together. You get toes like a sloth. You don't want to look like a sloth. Nobody wants to be a sloth. Especially if you're doing CrossFit, that's not going to help you. We do things for time. Sloths do nothing for time. So I'm going to show you how to open up the fascia on the bottom of the foot. And I uh, trust me, I won't use my hand as an example. I'll actually use my foot. But how to open up the fascia on the bottom of the foot and let that foot do what it's supposed to and restore both those arches. Now, most people think there's only one arch to the foot. There's two. So I'm going to show you what both of those are. There's one that goes across the foot this way. And then, of course, there's the arch that everybody knows about that goes this way as well. So we're gonna talk about smashing that out, getting it all loose, preventing heel spurs. Um, I had a patient come into my office, uh, really bad heel spur, about this big. And we know uh, the heel spur is calcification of a ligament, the growth off the calcaneus, the heel bone. And if it's preventable, which it is, um, why not take care of it before it happens, right? We don't do prehab, we actually just prevent injury and we, uh, we, we increase performance with the human body. That's what we do here at Smashworks, that's what I do in my office at the spine. And uh, that's what everybody should be doing. That's what all you guys should be doing. So that's what I'm here to show you. So I'm gonna take off my shoe and uh, I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So when we look at the foot, all right, the foot has two arches. There's an arch that goes across this way, like this. And then there's the arch right here. Now those two arches need to be maintained because that's what allows us to have that spring and that's what allows our foot to do what it's supposed to do. So there's 26 bones in the human foot and the foot's gonna adapt to the terrain every time you take a step, every time you do a box jump or a squat or, uh, or anything. You're wrestling with your kids, running, uh, running down a bad guy that you know, took your wife's purse. It doesn't really matter. You're gonna be using this all the time. By the way, if you're running down a bad guy cross, it's the best way to learn how to do it because you'll be faster and be able to jump over those fences like this. So you wanna make sure that foot's adapting as best as possible and it's transmitting all that force from you hitting the ground up into the rest of the body the proper way instead of this jarring force that foot problems, knee problems, hip problems, upstream, downstream, it doesn't matter, it's all gonna happen, so let's make sure the foot works properly. So I'm gonna grab a lacrosse ball. God, sometimes this stuff is so easy. You take a lacrosse ball, right? And now you're just gonna see my feet for a little while. So uh, one shoe, one sock, don't make fun of me. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna do a planter smear. So easy to do. You take your foot, you're gonna bring the lacrosse ball nice and close so you can see what I'm doing. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get it to the front, just behind these bones, and I'm just gonna smear across. Smear across, back and forth, real slow, real slow. The ideal way, if you see my toes wanna to curl down, ideal way is to bring your toe up like that, smear across, and you're gonna work your way all the way towards the back, towards the heel, and when you get to this part, if you look what I'm doing, I'm up like this and I'm smearing this way so I'm up on my toe. Smear back and forth, back and forth. And you're gonna feel all that, it shouldn't feel all gristly and nasty like you're cutting through a piece of shoe leather or a really old steak that's been sitting in your fridge or your freezer getting freezer burned for like the last nine months because you've been saving it for a rainy day. Eat that steak, don't let it get nasty. This shouldn't feel like that. This should be soft, smooth. It should just glide across the bottom of the foot. Okay, that's number one. You're gonna work your way all the way from the front to the back, okay? There's that plantar fascia right on the bottom of the foot. That's what we're working on, okay? Second one is, you're gonna get just on that heel. So there's that bone, that calcaneus, the seal bone right here, big giant bone. That's where that plantar fascia attaches and fans out to the toes. You're gonna get that lacrosse ball, I love the lacrosse ball. You can use a golf ball, except the golf ball. I know my head's out of the camera. You can use a golf ball, except the golf ball is pretty aggressive and it's a little bit smaller, it tends to slide around a little bit. I like this, you know, it's pretty hard, but it's got a bit of a give and I like that. So you're gonna get your heel on here. 
and I'm gonna have you do this kneeling like this so you can put some weight on it. And you're gonna give your leg a hug and you're just gonna rock back and forth. Oh, that's just diabolical right there. Which tells me I need to do it. I spend too much of my day in dress shoes. I need to spend more time in these. So, just grind back and forth on that heel, back and forth on that heel. That's number two, okay? Front and back, back and forth, just stay on that heel and smash the living daylights out of it. And then the last one is, since we wanna restore the arch on the front of the foot as well, that dome that we have, it's, it's like the carpal tunnel. We have one in our wrist too, it's a dome, really important. We wanna restore this one as well, so we're gonna take the lacrosse ball, and you're gonna put your foot over it like this. You can take a knee or you can stand. If you do take a knee, make sure I'm in the frame, all you're gonna do is hook your feet over it like this, and bring them out, bring them down, bring them out. I'm putting weight on my knee, and I'm supporting myself here, but I'm putting weight on my knee, so my foot has some weight to it. I want there to be a little bit of pressure on this. When I'm standing, balance can be a little iffy, and you have a tendency to lift off and drive into your heels, especially if you do a lot of workouts, a lot of CrossFit, because you're used to driving weight through that three-point spot on your foot, right in front of the heel. We know all that stuff, and if not, we'll go over it in another video. So we're gonna go out and in, out and in. Now if you'll see, I have a toe here that doesn't wanna come all the way up. So you know what you do as you're doing going up? Give it a grab, give it a pull. As a matter of fact, pull all the toes, each one of them, all the way. Close, open, close, open. I mean, the golden rule is to do all this stuff two minutes per station, so that's a six minute foot treatment right there. Six minute foot treatment, you go to a, some kind of salon or spa or something, I don't know, probably charge you about 100 bucks to do that foot treatment. Lacrosse balls, three bucks. You can do it all yourself, you'll get way more out of it too. The only person I let paint my toes is my daughter. So you're gonna do that, so we got the heel, we've got the arch right here, and we've got restoring the arch that goes um, transverse across the, top of the, or across the bottom of the foot this way. Now we can smear out the top of the foot as well. Get your foot over here. You can use your heel or you can use your hand. If you use your hand, just take your thumbs and drive them across the skin, not dragging across your skin. Actually use your skin as a contact and just go all the way through because the top of the foot's gonna have that connective tissue as well. We want that nice and supple. We wanna restore all the movement in that foot. After all this is done, now you can go run. Four minute mile, Roger Bannister, here we come, right? All right, you guys, I'm Trev from Smashworks. Have an awesome day. I'll see you tomorrow.